some parts we are holding a total of five ten thousandths of an inch. That would be one tenth the diameter of the average hair on your head. I'm holding a, a component that's used in a sighting mechanism for a 30 millimeter belt fed grenade launcher. So the parts that we make, the components go into uh, firearms, air to air missiles that'll hang under the wing of an F-18 Hornet, John Deere combines, ultrasonic scaling equipment that they use to clean your teeth. Really you start with the shape of the cylinder when you're manufacturing the part and uh, your cutting tools will come in and you peel it away like you would on any type of lathe. It has uh, groove features, turned areas, cross holes in it, a very tight tolerance. So this is an automatic lathe and we're converting 12 foot length of bar stock into solenoid parts that are used in lawn and garden equipment. People have perceptions that manufacturing is dark, dirty, and dangerous. This is about $300,000 worth of technology. And to, to really get the most out of this, you've got to have some very, very highly skilled intelligent people running it. This isn't pulling a lever on a drill press all day long. This is problem solving. And we need really smart people. Our engineering and our set of people use uh, their math and their science every single day. You know, whether it be trig, geometry, calculus, trying to determine how we need to program the machine to make these very sophisticated parts. If you aren't good in math and science, it's gonna to be tough to be an all-star with this equipment. Thirty-four different features I can see. End view, cross section, showing the internal features. If you're in the AP classes, all the STEM and Project Lead the Way classes, I would encourage you very strongly to get down to the auto shop and the technology labs to get your hands dirty. Take what you've learned in the classroom and the books and apply it to, to making stuff with your hands. Conversely, if you're in the auto shop and the tech ed area, take as much math and science as you can. And then look for uh, summer internships and uh, youth apprenticeship programs in your community that you can get out into the built, into the shops and understand how all that applies to the real world.